So one of the things that we're gonna talk about first is ways of practicing moving initially without the dog. So one of the things that we're gonna do a whole bunch of is backing up, right? We're gonna run backwards a lot when we're playing with our dogs, both with food and with toys, right? And we do this because I mentioned already, movement away from the dog makes the dog wanna chase you, makes the dog wanna follow you. So I need to move away from the dog, but I also need to see what the dog's doing. I wanna watch them, right, so that I can do it. So in order to move away from them and watch them at the same time, I'm typically running backwards. So you saw Jessie yesterday when we did restrained recalls, right? I held the dog, she ran, called the dog, and then backed up as the dog came to her. She's running backwards as the dog gets to her to absorb the dog's energy and pull the dog into her. Well, it takes a little practice to run backwards. And when I start playing with toys, I'm gonna do the same thing. I play with you, I let you have the toy, and I run backwards to get you to come towards me with the toy. A lot of people struggle getting the dog to bring a toy back to them because they give the dog the toy and then they're like, come on. And the dog's like, uh-uh, you want my toy. You're going to take it from me, right? But if I stand up and go, come on, come on, the dog coming right up to me, right? So we move away from the dog a lot. So movement away from the dog is going to be important. So we're going to run backwards. If you're not careful and you run backwards, you fall over. You trip, right? And the bad thing about falling over backwards is if it surprises you and you fall over backwards, you bang your head on the floor. Lots of people do, right? You, unless you're a gymnast and you do a back somersault. But most people, they go down whack and you bang the back of your head on the floor, right? So in order not to fall over, a couple of key principles for backing up, right? So we do a lot of them. Bend your knees, right? right? Don't stand up straight. We, people like to lock their legs out and stand up straight, right? Because then you don't have to use your muscles, right? So if my legs are locked like this, my bones are doing the work. If I'm like this, my muscles are doing the work. And you're like, this is tiring. I'd rather not do this. So you want to do this, right? But bend your knees, right? And in play as well. You, your legs are the strongest muscles in your body. Use these. And if I bend my knees and lean forward a little bit, I had a friend that was a tennis coach. And you ever watch somebody ready to return a serve in tennis? They're like this. He says, nose over toes, not back here, right? So keep your knees bent. And then keep your heels up. When you run, you're running on the balls of your feet, the front of your feet. So practice your calf raises. <laughs> Stand on the front of your feet, not on your heels. If you step down and catch a heel, over you go. That's where you go backwards. So when you're gonna run backwards, if you've anybody that's ever watched football players doing drills and soccer players doing drills, how are they running backwards? Like this, right? Right? So they stay bent over, and lean forward a little, so their center of gravity is forward, the weight's on the front of their feet, they keep their heels up, and they slide their feet backwards, right? So, in here, this is a much too big a group of people. We'd spend all day practicing running backwards, but typically in car classes, we break this out, and you practice running backwards. You do running backwards drills, right? And it's super useful. If you practice it, you'll get more and more efficient at it. You have to learn to kind of pay attention to where you are in a space, you know, back into a wall or a deer or a moose, right? And any of those <laughs> sort of things. And so as you run backwards, uh, you don't run into things, don't trip on things and that kind of thing. So a little practice there is useful. We post our social media videos to our website, Learberg.com, a week or two before we post them to our YouTube channel. These early release videos can be found on the front page of our site or by going to the site and selecting video on demand from the toolbar and then select free videos. Thank you for watching.